How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And, uh, yeah, a little bit more Canada action. I guess you would say more a Quebec-centric action in the form of La Trois Musqueteries. It's their Imperial Wizen. Um, this was actually sent to me by a viewer by the name of Jacob. Thank you very much, Jacob. Um, super excited to give this a whirl. I say I'm all beers, but these in particular because I'm a big Three Musketeers fan. Um, love their beers, and uh, uh, he sent me uh, this, and he sent me their Porter Baltique or Baltic Porter, whatever you want to call it. Love the shit out of that. You probably already saw the review if I put it up before this one, which I should have because I did it a couple days ago. Anyway, love that one. Super excited to dive into this sucker because, one, from brewery I like, and two, it's aged as fuck. Um, 2008 version, um, you're looking at, you know, eight years um, on this sucker, as this is um, almost October of 2016. So, yeah, just chomping at the bit of getting this sucker, so I will uh, stop yammering for a second and start yammering some more and start talking about it so here we go as far as what it says on a bottle super old ghetto label mika agrees uh, as far as what it says it says la trust musketeries imperial wise 1998 2008 so their 10 year anniversary um 10 alcohol by volume on the back ton of french no idea what it says um other than the fact that it is again 10 alcohol by volume and that be that. It's not cold at all. And I think I kinda I'm gonna dig it that way. So yeah, it's probably about mm, I'm guessing right around like fifty five to sixty degrees. So um yeah. Let's uh pop this top. Oh okay. Left hand. I, I think I remember this. Last time I did a corking cage from Canada, I think I got a lefty corking cage. Nice pop on that sucker. Um yeah, always weird when you get nose, so let's give this a nice pour, see what she's got. Imperial Hefeweizen. Okay. Go under here, look, I don't know. Um, Style-wise, not a style you typically come across more times than not. Um, you're talking about an Imperial Hefe. You're probably, I'm guessing... Gonna get a bunch of uh, kind of your jacked up saison traits, but at the same time you're gonna get a little bit of a uh, Doppelbach fun in there. You might be, be able to get a little bit of banana, a little bit of fruitiness, um, um, definitely a bit of funkiness. Hopefully a nice kind of wheat winey kind of vibe going on. Um, but yeah, pinky finger quickly receding head, as white as white can be. Pretty rocky stuff left with a really beautiful kind of like hazy funky but with electric carbonation kind of body going on there's like carbonation coming through but every couple seconds i don't know if you can see it it kind of like has this burst of carbonation coming up through it so it looks fun it looks like it might be a little bit sideways but we don't know until we get in the nose or actually get in the mouth so let's get a nose on her no I'm getting, um, I'm getting an, <laughs> this is going to sound weird, um, but this is exactly what I'm getting. If you took a powdered iced tea, which I fucking love, you know, I, you know, I grew up in the 80s. Um, I grew up in a very, very lower middle class family, you know. We never wanted for much of anything. We were always fed, but at the same time, we didn't, you know, we drove for vacations. I was, I haven't been on a plane to this day, let's put it that way. And, uh. So, when we got iced tea, especially back in the 80s, it was powdered. You threw powdered iced tea in a jug, you shook it up, you drank it, it was fucking delicious. Um, this is reminding me of that with caramel. Um, throw some caramel in there. That's what I have going on. Um, it's like in a, a kind of tweener iced tea. It's like the powdered iced tea with a little bit of actually like homebrewed iced tea. So you're getting a little bit of the kind of acidic kind of tannicness from like that kind of acid you would get from like that kind of like um, uh, tea vibes. Even though it's a beer, it's, I'm not talking about tea. But at the same time, you're getting like this kind of sweet candiness um, from that kind of powder deal I was talking about. So what I think I'm getting here is a bit of kind of 
of oxidation funkiness or maybe a bit of age from that kind of weakness, but at the same time, I'm getting a little bit of malt sweetness on top of that. And then I'm getting that age comp uh, factor where you're talking about 2008. That's what's giving me the caramel. So I think it's kind of giving me that whole kind of show. The age is what's showing here. And that's pretty much it. Um, you smell the wheat off the top. It's there. It, it's hefty, but at the same time, it's not offensive or turned or bad. So it smells like an aged beer. It smells like a cool beer. It smells like a super interesting beer. Let's put it that way. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's like a... If you were to take a traditional Hefe and you were to doppelbop that, let's put it that way, kind of like double it up, which is what this is, and then throw some really fucking smooth, very gentle kind of caramelly carbonation kind of, or not carbonation, flavoring going on in there. That's what it is, and it's really delicious. Um, this is aged beer. This is aged beer to a T. Um, what did this taste like when it came out? I have no idea whatsoever. Uh, would I like it when it came out? I'm guessing just uh, for a couple reasons. One, I like it now. More times than not, there's a beer... A beer rarely turns from a shitty beer to a good beer. Sure, it can turn from a nondescript, kind of neutrally, kind of Switzerland style, I don't know what's going on kind of beer into a good beer. But I'm guessing this is a nice beer. And I'd be like, oh, this is quite nice. But turned into something pretty fucking delicious. At the same time, it's, it's outside of the style. It's outside of what you typically get. So, and that is Duda Ciel. It's La Trust Muscateras. It's all those breweries that really kind of like make my nipples hard and fucking butthole get tight, that kind of thing. It's what I love about those kind of breweries. Um, but at the same time, super approachable, really drinkable, and just fun. Um, if you're into like Uber over the top, barrel aged this or dry hop that, you're probably not going to get it. And, and I come off a little bit douchey saying that. Fine. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. But I, it, it is what it is. It has this really kind of prickly, kind of fun, almost like carbonation to it. it it's south of like your kind of... What, what do I want to call it? Um, like your uh, champagne kind of carbonation. But it's in a beer form, and it's aged, and it kind of gives you this... It's just fun all around, is what I'm saying. Um, in a cool, cool, aged kind of way. I kind of wish it was a little bit colder. I might get this a little bit colder, throw a cap on it, cold, make it cold, kind of bring it back to this temple. I drink it and see what it kind of opens up as. But I think this is kind of a good temperature to drink it at, a little bit warmer than nothing else. Um, and in general, it's just a really fun... Ex Experiment. Let's put it that way. Experimental beer to try. Hmm. Yeah. But I still get those iced tea vibes. Honey iced tea now. It's like almost like a green tea iced tea. Anyway. Super fun of beer to try. So let's cut to it. It's one of the better imperial aged half of license I've ever had. Sure. Because I don't remember having one. Um, value and availability. Can't get it. It's aged. It's from Quebec. Knock your socks off unless it was sent to you. Thank you very much, Jacob. Um, and just say, if you like what, we like this. I had a beer in mind. Uh, if you like uh, Founders, Sweet Repute, take the barrel aging out of it. That's what I imagine this beer tastes like without the barrel aging. That's how good of a beer it is. If you watch my Sweet Repute video, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting off this. But without the barrel aging, that over-the-topness, that kind of turned me on with that beer so much. Um... There's one other one. I'm kind of sitting here. Um, uh, the, the, um, what's it? What's it? The, the Pompier beer. It had a champagne yeast thing go on, going on with that thing. Um, I don't know the actual name of it, but that's not the beer I'm thinking of. I don't know. I'll have to comment on this. I'll have to put it in, a, in the body of the 
with a beer review, if I actually remember it. But it's it's reminding me a little bit more of another kind of beer, but same but different. But in general, is if you like what we like this, um, if you like, hmm, it's interesting, interesting. way to put it um if you like wheat way wheat wines of course if you like ciders if you like if you like wheat based beers and i know it's super generic and i wish i could break it down a little bit better for you guys but um it's kind of what i'm getting at it's like if you like over the top higher ABV wheat wines that kind of branch out from your atypical um, um, peppery kind of chuggable range and get a little bit more robust to it. That's I guess that's where this kind of lays. Uh, if you like interesting beers, experimental beers, or old beers, and that's and maybe that should end on that note. If you like old beers, because I think this beer is a markedly different beer when it originally came out, but now... The way it is, how it is, how it's aged, brought those caramel kind of notes in there, been a little bit more umami and kind of fucking deliciousness to it. I think that's what kind of takes it over the top for me. So if you like aged beers, then this would definitely be something to pick up. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. If you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. And, uh... Let's see what else. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, massive beers in all four of those places. And uh, yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice Imperialized Bison right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.